Greetings YouTube, this is Wesley here for Power Monday Vision. Thank you for all the people who's taking the time to look at my YouTube videos, I greatly appreciate it. And today I'm going to bring you another Fallout 76 video. And today's oh, video uh, is going to Power Armor Helm Edition. Now you can look at my channel and tell my intro that you know I'm a fan of the T-51 Power Armor. Which is my all-time favorite other than the XO one So with that being said, I'm going to start saying a couple of things about my thoughts about the new Power Armor Edition, Special Edition that they got released for Fallout 76 and give you my thoughts on it. Thank you for everybody who supported me and looked at my channel. I greatly appreciate all the views that I get. And please also to if you are so inclined looking at my channel, if you would like to subscribe to it for me, I would love that. That helps me out a lot. Because I am, like I said, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. That's what I'm trying. That's my goal. But with that being said, we're going to jump into today's video topic. And it is on the Fallout 76 Power Armor Helm Edition. Which is something extremely cool. And I have wanted something like this for a long, long, long time. But the problem is right now, I don't know if I will actually be able to snag one of these up because <laughs> I am completely broke and Bethesda stores out of them. However, I don't really think that will be a problem because these things tend to be, what's the word for it? They make a lot of these. See, here's the thing. The one that came from Fallout 4, Bethesda made tons of those. So you can even still buy them sometimes. But enough about that. If you look at this helm, it looks amazing. It's supposed to be a in-game model creation, meaning that they took the file assets from the game. I guess maybe had it 3D printed or even made it scanned digitally or had the dimensions. I'm not exactly sure how it was created, but it looks amazing. You have a West Tech carrying case, which looks good. You got glow in the dark map that comes with it it also has a built-in voice changer it lights up fully articulated a carrying case some other little papers and stuff that goes with it maybe a certificate on authenticity maybe who knows but it does look it looks pretty cool this is stuff like this I like I know it's kind of plastic plasticky gimmicky stuff and it could seem like it's a cash grab, but things that are cool like this, we should reward Bethesda for making it. And when they make this useless nonsense junk, that's one thing, but stuff like this is always cool. I like this. It was the other edition that was available in Australia where you got the, wasn't the AER-9 laser rifle, it was a laser pistol or something. I really wanted that, but it was, I believe, an Australian exclusive, so there was no prayer of me getting this. But this Power Armor Edition, it does look... I don't know exactly how durable it is, but from all the literature I see, you're supposed to be able to wear it. And, I mean, it looks cool. My hope may be that Bethesda may have a... I guess a loot campaign where they actually release other parts of the T-51 so you actually can have your fully assembled one. I know you can do pepper core because I do pepper core and all that type of stuff and make armor, but it would still be cool if Bethesda made it. Even if I couldn't wear it, I would just love to have the statue. I mean, also too, I remember one time I went to the GameStop and I saw the original statue that they made for Fallout three and it looked pretty cool so just things like this I really like it now here's the deal as I said before most places that this thing is available for pre-order they are completely sold out but it's always going to be somewhere where you can get them and if you look pretty hard you probably can find some vendor that still has these or take a pre-order as long as you have the cash and as I said I believe that they will probably have more of these because as I saw with the other one, after the hype kind of died down, a lot of people, I guess they canceled the order for whatever reason, but it's still 
pip boy 4000s that you can get so hopefully it, this will be the same when i get some cash i can actually snag one up i tried actually see if i could pre-order at gamestop that didn't work you only could do it online and you had to pay the full amount which completely sucked but hey it is what it is right but we'll see maybe i can snag one of these up and then i can do a review on my channel i really love all the fallout merchandise that's like this some of the other stuff i'm not really a fan of but this kind of thing you know I me mean, it's power arm anything there i love it so this is probably pretty much all i want to say about that hopefully i can get one of these items so i can review it for my channel we'll see how it goes i would love to get it it's also two hundred dollars by the way it's going to probably set you back probably about two hundred and fifty dollars we'll see with shipping and handling but hey it looks pretty good and i will see you next time